Welcome, dear viewers, to a captivating journey into the world of subjective idealism, a fascinating philosophical perspective that challenges the very nature of reality. In this video, we will explore the groundbreaking ideas of George Berkeley, one of the foremost proponents of subjective idealism. Join us as we delve into the profound insights of this 18th century philosopher, unraveling the complex relationship between perception, reality, and the mind. Get ready for an intellectual adventure that will leave you pondering the fundamental questions of existence. Ladies and gentlemen, George Berkeley was a man of profound intellect and curious spirit. Born in 1685 in County Kilkenny, Ireland, he would go on to become one of the most influential philosophers of the Enlightenment era. But what set him apart from his contemporaries was his audacious idea that everything we perceive is nothing more than a product of the mind. Picture young Berkeley as a student at Trinity College, Dublin. He was known for his wit and charm, and his professors saw in him the potential for great things. But it wasn't until he embarked on a journey to Italy that his ideas began to take root. As Berkeley wandered the cobblestone streets of Naples, he came across a street musician playing a mesmerizing melody on his violin. The music, so captivating and beautiful, filled the air with a sense of wonder. Yet, Berkeley wondered, what if there is no one to hear this music? This very question became the cornerstone of his philosophy, which he later coined as, immaterialism, or, idealism. Berkeley argued that the world only exists because it is perceived. He famously said immaterialism in other words, he believed that everything we see, hear, touch, and taste exists only as ideas in the mind of God, and that our senses are the medium through which we interact with these divine ideas. But how can we be certain that the world continues to exist when we're not looking at it? To illustrate this, Berkeley crafted a story of the famous tree in the forest. Imagine a beautiful tree deep in the woods, untouched by any human observer. According to Berkeley, if there's no one there to perceive the tree, it exists only as an idea in the mind of God. However, Berkeley's ideas faced a challenge. His contemporary, the philosopher Samuel Johnson, famously kicked a stone and proclaimed irrefute it thus. He argued that the stone's existence was real, regardless of whether someone was there to perceive it. But Berkeley's philosophy is more nuanced than that. He didn't deny the stone's existence. Rather, he argued that it exists as an idea in the mind of God and that God is always perceiving it. He believed that the continuity of the world depended on the continuous perception of God. Imagine you're back in that lecture hall with George Berkeley's ideas swirling in the air. Berkeley was not only a philosopher but also a theologian, and his philosophical beliefs were deeply intertwined with his religious convictions. Berkeley argued that the world we perceive is part of God's divine plan. In his view, the physical world is a testament to God's existence and power. He believed that by understanding and appreciating the beauty and complexity of the world, we could come closer to understanding the mind of God. Berkeley's philosophy also had a profound impact on the nature of reality. He maintained that physical objects were nothing more than bundles of qualities such as color, taste, and texture. These qualities existed only when perceived by a mind. If you were to close your eyes and stop perceiving a red apple, according to Berkeley, the redness of the apple would cease to exist until someone perceived it again. Now, let's take a moment to consider Berkeley's view of space and time. He argued that space and time were also ideas in the mind of God. There was no separate, independent existence of space and time. They were purely relational concepts. This led to an interesting conclusion. The world existed only in the minds of finite spirits, including humans, and in the infinite mind of God. One of the most engaging aspects of Berkeley's philosophy is its challenge to the prevailing philosophical views of his time. The materialism of thinkers like John Locke and Isaac Newton dominated the 18th century, but Berkeley's immaterialism was a bold departure from the norm. He was like a philosopher illusionist, revealing the magic behind our everyday perception and forcing his contemporaries to reevaluate their fundamental beliefs. As we wrap up our exploration of George Berkeley's philosophy, we can appreciate the enduring impact of his ideas. His audacious perspective reminds us to question the nature of reality to ponder the profound relationship between perception and existence, and to consider the role of the divine in our understanding of the world. 
Is the world truly what it seems, or is it a dazzling dance of ideas in the mind of God? Berkeley's philosophy encourages us to explore these questions and discover the wonder that lies beneath the surface of our everyday experiences. Imagine, if you will, a bustling cafe where Berkeley engages in spirited debates with fellow philosophers of his time. One of his key contributions was the notion of esse est percipi, which translates to to be is to be perceived. He argued that the existence of things is entirely dependent on their being perceived. This concept, while radical, had a profound impact on epistemology, the study of knowledge. Berkeley asserted that we could only know what we directly perceived through our senses, making our sensory experiences the foundation of our knowledge. This idea stands in contrast to the prevailing belief in the existence of an external, objective reality. It challenged thinkers to examine the limitations of human knowledge and grapple with the nature of certainty and skepticism. Moreover, Berkeley was deeply concerned with the relationship between language and thought. He proposed that language was a tool for communication, but its meaning was rooted in our shared experiences and perceptions. This meant that words gained meaning through their connection to the sensory experiences they represented. To illustrate this point, let's consider the word, apple. When we say, apple, it conjures up a mental image of a fruit with certain colors, tastes, and textures. According to Berkeley, the meaning of, apple, is intrinsically tied to our perceptions of the fruit. He challenged the idea of a universal, objective language, suggesting that words only had meaning within the context of our shared sensory experiences. Berkeley's ideas on language and perception have influenced later philosophers, particularly in the realms of semantics and the philosophy of mind. The debate he ignited about the nature of language and the relationship between language and reality continues to captivate contemporary philosophers and linguists. Now, let's talk about Berkeley's idealism. He was a staunch advocate of the idea that everything exists within the mind of God. According to his philosophy, the material world, including all the objects and entities we perceive, are merely ideas in the mind of the divine. This perspective aligns with his deep religious convictions and emphasizes the spiritual and metaphysical aspects of his philosophy. It challenges us to contemplate the connection between the finite human mind and the infinite divine mind. Berkeley's idealism also carries profound implications for ethics and moral philosophy. If everything exists within the mind of God, then our moral actions, choices, and intentions take on a new significance. They become intimately connected to the divine will and purpose, emphasizing the importance of living a virtuous and ethical life. As we consider the legacy of George Berkeley, it's important to note that his ideas were not without critics. Thinkers like David Hume and Immanuel Kant engaged in extensive debates with Berkeley's idealism, shaping the trajectory of Western philosophy for centuries to come. Hume challenged the idea of cause and effect, while Kant explored the relationship between human perception and the external world. These debates highlight the enduring impact of Berkeley's work and its continued relevance in the development of philosophical thought. Picture a dimly lit study where Berkeley sits, pen in hand, composing his influential philosophical dialogues. Berkeley was known for his engaging writing style, and his dialogues were instrumental in conveying his ideas to a wider audience. One of his most famous works, Three Dialogues Between Hylas and Philonus, features two characters engaged in a lively conversation about the nature of reality. In these dialogues, Hylas represents the materialist perspective, while Philonus embodies Berkeley's idealism. Their spirited exchanges bring Berkeley's philosophy to life and allow readers to explore the key concepts of immaterialism, perception, and the nature of existence in a captivating and accessible manner. Through these dialogues, Berkeley masterfully articulates his views on the interplay between the human mind, the physical world, and the divine. The dialogues serve as both an intellectual battleground for competing philosophical perspectives and a vehicle for Berkeley to present his ideas in a dynamic and engaging way. Moreover, Berkeley's dialogues have left a lasting impact on the world of philosophy and continue to be studied and discussed by scholars and philosophers. They showcase his ability to present complex ideas in a conversational format, making his work more approachable and stimulating for readers and students of philosophy. While the Bermuda Project never came to fruition, it's a testament to Berkeley's holistic approach to philosophy. 
His ideas weren't confined to abstract theories but had practical applications in the real world. His belief in the importance of education and the moral implications of his philosophy reflect a commitment to improving society through intellectual pursuits. Berkeley's influence extended far beyond his time, with philosophers like Immanuel Kant, Arthur Schopenhauer, and others engaging with his ideas. Even in the 21st century, his work continues to shape debates in the philosophy of mind, epistemology, and metaphysics. In the world of psychology, Berkeley's ideas about perception and the nature of reality have found resonance in discussions of cognitive science, particularly the study of the relationship between the mind and the external world. His work encourages us to consider the fundamental question of how we construct our understanding of the world. In the realm of art, Berkeley's philosophy has inspired creative thinkers to challenge conventional notions of reality. Artists have explored the idea that the world is a construction of the mind, pushing the boundaries of perception and representation in painting, sculpture, and new media. Furthermore, Berkeley's philosophical perspective has implications for our understanding of technology and virtual reality. In the digital age, where our interactions with the world often occur through screens and virtual environments, Berkeley's ideas invite us to ponder the nature of our digital experiences and their relationship to the physical world. If everything is an idea in the mind of God, what does that mean for the scientific endeavor? Berkeley's views prompted philosophers and scientists to contemplate the relationship between perception and the scientific method itself. His idealism encouraged them to reevaluate the assumptions underlying their theories and models of the physical world. In the realm of theology, Berkeley's philosophy was deeply rooted in his religious convictions. He believed that the physical world was a manifestation of God's divine plan and that by understanding the world, we could come closer to understanding God. This perspective has resonated with theologians and religious scholars throughout the centuries, emphasizing the connection between faith and reason. Moreover, Berkeley's ideas about the nature of reality have given rise to discussions on solipsism, the notion that only one's mind truly exists. While Berkeley didn't subscribe to solipsism himself, his philosophy encourages contemplation of the limits of our knowledge and the nature of individual consciousness. Berkeley's work has also left an indelible mark on the philosophy of perception. His emphasis on the mind's role in constructing reality has influenced subsequent philosophers who've explored the relationship between perception and knowledge, such as Maurice Merleau-Ponty and Thomas Nagel. Subjective idealism, also known as immaterialism, is a philosophical doctrine that asserts that reality exists only within the realm of individual minds and is dependent on the act of perception. George Berkeley, whom we have been discussing, is one of the most prominent proponents of subjective idealism. Perception is key. Subjective idealism places a strong emphasis on perception. It posits that everything that exists, from physical objects to abstract concepts, is ultimately a product of individual minds perceiving them. In other words, if something is not perceived, it does not have an independent existence. Rejecting materialism. Subjective idealism is a rejection of materialism, the belief that the physical world exists independently of the mind. Berkeley argued that the materialist view of reality was flawed because it relied on the existence of unperceived material objects. Esse est percipi. One of Berkeley's famous principles is, esse est percipi, which means esse est percipi. According to this principle, the existence of something is contingent on it being perceived. In other words, if no one is perceiving an object, it exists only as an idea in the mind of God. The Role of God in Berkeley's philosophy, God plays a crucial role as the ultimate perceiver. God's continuous perception of all things maintains their existence. Berkeley argued that God's infinite and unceasing perception guarantees the stability and coherence of the world. Berkeley's subjective idealism has led to questions and debates about the nature of knowledge and the problem of skepticism. If reality is contingent on perception, can we be certain of the existence of anything beyond our immediate perceptions? Berkeley's philosophy challenges traditional conceptions of knowledge and invites discussions on the nature of certainty. Influence on philosophy. Berkeley's subjective idealism has had a significant influence on the development of philosophical thought. It has inspired discussions about the nature of reality, the philosophy of perception, and the relationship between the mind and the external world. 
Philosophers like Immanuel Kant, Arthur Schopenhauer, and George Santayana engaged with Berkeley's ideas, contributing to the evolution of idealist philosophy. Subjective idealism has far-reaching implications across various domains of philosophy, including metaphysics, epistemology, and ethics. Metaphysics. Subjective idealism challenges traditional metaphysical assumptions. It asserts that the external world, including physical objects, has no existence independent of perception. This perspective leads to a re-evaluation of the nature of reality and the role of the mind in shaping it. George Berkeley's subjective idealism has profound implications for the study of knowledge. If everything depends on perception, then what can we truly know about the external world? Berkeley's philosophy has fueled discussions on the nature of certainty, skepticism, and the limits of human knowledge. Ethics. Berkeley's religious convictions and idealist philosophy are closely intertwined with his views on ethics. He argued that the physical world was part of God's divine plan, and our moral actions were intimately connected to the will of the divine. Subjective idealism highlights the significance of ethical living in harmony with the divine order. Contemporary relevance. Subjective idealism continues to be a topic of interest in contemporary philosophy. It sparks debates about the nature of consciousness, the relationship between mind and reality, and the implications of idealism for the philosophy of mind. It also intersects with discussions about the nature of perception in cognitive science and psychology. Idealist philosophers. George Berkeley's subjective idealism has left a lasting legacy and has inspired subsequent idealist philosophers. Immanuel Kant, for example, engaged with Berkeley's ideas while developing his own critical philosophy. Berkeley's work has contributed to the ongoing evolution of idealism in Western philosophy. As we conclude our exploration of subjective idealism, we hope this journey into the world of George Berkeley's audacious philosophy has left you with a fresh perspective on the nature of reality. Subjective idealism challenges our assumptions about the world, inviting us to question the very foundations of knowledge and perception. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Thank you for joining us on this philosophical quest, and remember, the adventure of the mind never truly ends. Stay curious, stay philosophical.